1993, Nintendo presents Hello everyone and welcome back to something that I started a year ago. I'm Ultima Mantoid and this is Let's Play Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge. What do you mean by I started this a year ago? Go back and watch my Battle Clash playthrough. Yeah. So, what is Metal Combat? Well, it's the sequel to Battle Clash, obviously. Um, there we go. I guess it wouldn't let me skip that screen yet. Anyway, we actually have a rank on that main screen, as you saw, it said Amoeba. I can't tell you how many times I've played through this game. Like, it gave me so many, like, just so much enjoyment as a kid. However, we start with a battle mode, and yes, voice acting will return in this one. Haha, <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? So, they actually include a training mode in this one, which is actually kind of important, considering the fact that they changed a lot of the gameplay mechanics. I mean, the basic is still the same, like, you still have your machine gun, you still have your power shots and your bomb. However, they changed how the power shots work, and they teach you a couple of different things that... You know, you should have picked up in the first one, but you probably didn't. Hello, I am Rola, and I will be your training instructor. Before you compete in the battle game, you must train. No shit. If you follow my instructions, you will clear each level. Your first lesson covers the use of turbo shots. To use turbo shots, press and hold the fire button. Aim well and shoot down three enemies to advance to the next round. Let the training begin. Alright, so we just machine gun this guy down. Sounds pretty easy. Get back here. Okay, well these guys go down like fast. Die, mushroom men, go! So they basically just teach you the basic targeting at this first one, which, which if you notice, you know, it takes just a moment for a shot to go from your gun to the actual screen. Gives you a feel of distance. Alright, let's see what the second test is. This lesson teaches you an ST battle basic, defense. The main method of defending enemy fire is the use of the turbo shot. In a real battle game, you'll be damaged by the enemy's attack. Too much damage will ruin your ST, so remember to protect yourself. Shoot down six consecutive enemy shots to advance to the next lesson. Use turbo shots to defend against the enemy's attacks. For those of you that don't know, ST stands for Standing Tank in this game. Which is basically what a giant mech is. Alright, so we have to defend, huh? Well, can we still kill you? Well, obviously we can do damage, but it's wanting us to actually shoot down the shots, so... You can hold the fire button down, and you can catch the shots if you need to. Or you can just be, you know, badass like me and just fire once. See, look at that. I'm badass. It auto-destructs? Okay, sure, why not? Oh, and they give us a lantern fish this time. This lesson will teach you how to attack enemies using energy bolts. If the fire button isn't pressed, the energy charges. Just like in Battle Clash, for those of you that watched it. Watch the meter at the bottom of the screen. When it fills with energy, the indicator bar will blink. Then press the fire button to loosen energy bolt. In a real battle game, you cannot defeat your enemies without the use of energy bolts. Aim well, and wait until the indicator bar begins to blink before firing. To advance to the next training round, shoot down three enemies. Doesn't seem bad. So we get to kill three of these lanternfish things. So let's shoot it. Down. I missed a shot. Awesome. So, just two shots takes him down. Nothing big. Nope, I didn't charge all the way. See what happens? Wait for the blink. 
or the the popping noise or whatever, and then you can fire your, you know, big charge shot. Now, you will learn the defensive use of the energy bolt. When your opponent charges his energy and fires at you with a blinking bullet, you must use an energy bolt to shoot it down. To shoot down the enemy's energy bolt, you cannot use turbo shots. You must use an energy bolt and you cannot miss. To advance to the next training round, intercept the enemy's energy bolts four times consecutively. Okay. So this is just like round two where his defense. Okay, that's not hard. Because he stops, so it's like... Guard this shot, which doesn't move! <clears throat> Pretty easy. But this one's green, and I like green better, so... As you notice, the robots seem to be bigger and more detailed in this particular game, so... Or the mechs, rather. This lesson will teach you to attack your opponent with a treble energy bolt. This is one of the new features. When you release the fire button and charge energy, the indicator bar under the energy meter will light. The longer you charge, the longer I wait, apparently, for you to say something. The greater the attack power will be. However, the maximum power possible is that of the treble energy bolt. When all the indicator bars are lit, press the fire button. This will release a treble energy bolt. If a treble energy bolt hits your opponent, his weak spot will flash. Shoot at this weak point with an energy bolt. If you shoot down three enemies, you will advance to the next level. Okay. So let's uh, learn this new mechanic here. Wait for three lanterns. Come here. Open up. Oh, I'm supposed to fire at you, not intercept. Durr. And then fire once. Uh, you see how it's blinking? If it'll stop wiggling so I can hit it. I'm all like waiting for it to fire so I can intercept. But no, that's not how it works. Will you stop doing that? Stop trolling me! Stupid fish. Punch you in the face. I'll punch you in the lantern, actually. I wonder if that's the equivalent. I wonder if that's fishy balls for a lantern fish. It would be really funny. Got you that time, huh? Let's get something to drink. Level six. Level six. What is level six? You ask. This lesson teaches you how to use the bomb. No comment. Press the cursor button to select your optional weapon. When the B icon lights, press the fire button to release the bomb. When this powerful device explodes, all of the enemy's bullets will be destroyed. Be prudent using the bomb as it can only be used once. Aim well, and if you destroy the enemy with your bomb, you will advance. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Just throw the bomb, right? Wait, I bet this is going to be the hardest one yet. It is the sixth one. Wait, chucking the bomb! Oh, look how hard that was! I threw a bomb! What the hell? Congratulations, you have reached your final lesson. This time, you must battle an ST, and I will be its pilot. So, if I blow this thing up, you're not gonna die? Just like in the battle game, the energy levels of your ST and your opponent will be displayed. As each ST takes damage, the level of the energy meters will increase. Or decrease, rather. I don't know. I wasn't reading it. The ST that runs out of energy first loses. Defend with energy bolts and turbo shots. Use energy bolts and treble energy bolts to attack. Defeating my ST will conclude your training. Let us start the battle game now! Random fact, this ST actually has a name, and no, its name is not training. <clears throat> it's actually known as the ST Majin. It 
See how it flashed? That's the basic uh, use of the treble energy bolt. You can actually blow off that bottom portion, which is really funny. And obvious sign to counterattack. Wait for it. Just because it's two, if you fire from far enough away. Yeah, see what I mean? I hit it just right and blew the whole thing up. Congratulations, you are now trained as an ST gunner. Many opponents, each using a different offense, will be found along your way. Do not be afraid. You know the techniques necessary to win. You can defeat any of them by aiming correctly, shooting at their weak point, and most of all, defending yourself. Do not forget what you have learned in this training program. Now go to the battle game and win. So full of confidence, aren't you? Alright, so this brings us to the actual game. So, this concludes training mode, and in the next video, we'll actually pick up with the real battle game. So, I will see you there. This is Ultima Mantoid with Let's Play Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge. Till next time, take care, and have fun.